All right, hey guys, uh, tonight we got another viewer submission. So we've got the, the Hill People Gear uh, belt pouch or, or fanny pack is really what it is, uh, as well as the, uh, the runner's harness or runner's kit bag. All right. I don't typically like doing more than one product in a video just because I, I don't like watching through long videos to get to the product that I want, but they're so similar. Uh, we'll, just, we'll do them both in the same video and uh, cover the features on them. But if you're looking for a, a really premium uh, fanny pack, this might be the one for you. So we'll get it on the table and we'll take a look at these things. All right, guys. So looking at the, uh, the Hill People Gear Runner's kit bag first, uh, I do have a little bit of experience with their kit bags. I have uh, whatever version was done in waxed canvas. I don't remember the name of it anymore. Uh, it's fairly similar to this with a, with a couple different uh, features. So... I'll eventually do that video. I just haven't, I never thought to do it in all honesty. Um, so this is the, the runner's kit bag and it does have uh, some unique features. I, I don't, I meant to check if this was stock. It, it seems right, uh, but it has this kind of uh, shot cord uh, waist belt, if you will. Uh, I would assume that that is a feature that if it wasn't homemade, uh, is unique to the runner's kit bag. Just trying to save weight and keep it a little bit more stable. Uh, outside of that, it's very similar to the, the footprint and the layout of the rest of their bags. So you've got this H harness type setup with the, the big mesh panel on the back to keep everything stable. Uh, and then you have a couple of pockets on here. So I think this one is probably the most... Uh, featureless bag that they make to try to save on weight. Uh, so you have a, a front pocket here, uh, which is, you know, a, essentially a flat pocket uh, that has two kind of hard mounted pouches inside. Uh, they have a little bit of give to them. Uh, so you could put, you know, a, a George Costanza size wallet in one of them if you needed to, and maybe a, an IFAC in the other one. And then you still have the rest of the body of the, the pocket to work with. And what's nice about the Hill People gear bags uh, is they also have these tie-down loops uh, everywhere in these bags, all right? So even though this one doesn't have any Velcro in it, they still have tie-down points so you can tether your stuff and, and make it a little bit harder to, to accidentally yard sale your stuff, all right? So that's the front pocket, which is, is fairly flat. There may be a small amount of bellow that's just kind of uh, inherent to the way it's sewn, but it is a flat pocket. Uh, and then the back pocket has uh, some actual volume to it. All of the depth of the, the kit bag is in this pocket. Uh, what I found interesting is, you know, I, again, I think they made it uh, as, as lightweight as possible uh, by saving on features. And this pocket's the one that throws me off a little bit. So they've got the tie-down loop dead center in there, uh, but there's no Velcro in here anywhere. And, and kind of the, at least in my mind, the kind of the intent of the, the, the chest packs from Hill People Gear is the ability to carry a pistol. Um, you know, it's definitely not a low profile setup, but hopefully it doesn't look like you're carrying a pistol. And this one's really not set up very well to do that, in my opinion. Uh, there is some padding here. Uh, so this, this donut shape on each side has a, a little bit of padding there. And then the center portion is unpadded. Uh, so if you had a pistol in here, it probably wouldn't be too uncomfortable while running with it. Uh, but it would really need to be something that just uses uh, one of the trigger guard uh, holsters. And then uh, tie that off to the tie down loop here. Uh, anything else in here, I don't know what would really make sense. Unless you were doing like some trail running or something and wanted a map. Um, or, uh, you know, this... The, the tab A will fit in here. I don't necessarily know why you would want to run with just that, uh, but for some scale, it fits in there uh, with plenty of room to spare. Uh, the kind of the, the way they, they make up for, you know, only being able to use the, the trigger guard thing is you can, you can kind of stage the zipper wherever on here that you need to. Uh, and if you need to leave a gap so you can just, you know, hook a finger in there and tear it down, uh, that works pretty well on on this one specifically because there's so little body to the the actual pocket uh, nothing gets in the way of the zipper uh, and nothing fights you kind of ripping that open so that is nice that 
that it works out that way if you're if you're carrying in there All right now looking at the the more interesting product in my opinion you have the the waste bag and I'll, I'll get you the exact name here so this is the the belt pack medium i don't know if that's going to focus or not so they have a belt pack stubby and then a belt pack medium and they may have a couple different versions uh within that as well All right, so uh it's a it's a good size fanny pack it is right between what i would say is too small to realistically carry a pistol and big enough that you wouldn't want to carry it anymore so it's right in that fine line between those two things uh, so this one will also fit uh, the tab a without any issues and it has a lot of neat features built into it so uh, you've got this molly webbing across the bottom uh, you have two uh, tie down loops if you will hanging off the bottom so if you wanted to uh, do some some shot cord origami you could do that uh, you can we can tie things off to here, gloves and, and what have you, depending on, on how extreme you want to get with things hanging off the outside of your, your fanny pack. Uh, looking at the front face, you have a pocket that is essentially identical to the one on the runner's kit bag. So you've got a, a large flat pocket uh, with two interior uh, hard-mounted uh, pockets. No stretch, no Velcro or anything like that. Uh, and then you've got a tie-down loop. Uh, tucked off on each corner, right? And that is kind of the extent of of that front pocket Then you have uh, Two pockets behind it. So you have the bulk of the depth of the the fanny pack on this front pocket here Which has another two uh, hard sewn pockets with tie down loops and then kind of one of the one of the the better features that these hill people gear bags have is is the first spear uh velcro laser cut molly panel now it's not a very rigid panel uh you can see that it's it's got much less body to it than than you would have on like a plate carrier or something like that but it is fully functional so you can you can mount velcro mounted pouches and uh pals or molly mounted pouches if that's something you want to do which makes a lot of sense for like a pistol and a reload or a pistol and a small IFAC um, or anything up that that alley, right? Uh, if you, you know, wanted to use this as a uh, something to carry ammo, like you can fit three M4 mags in here pretty well. And uh, they are very close to being the appropriate height to, to be fully concealed in there. But with the dual zipper, you know, you can, you can bring it all the way up to the corners here and just barely have the, the tops of your mags hanging out, if that's something that you want to do. Right. If nothing else, they're good scale. Uh, so that's that, that kind of in-between pocket, and then we get to the back pocket. And this is the only pocket that I've got any real contention with. Uh, with the padding that's in here and the Cordura, it, the zipper, at least on this one, is binding up just a little bit. It's not a showstopper, uh, and it, it could probably be fixed pretty well. Let's see if I can get this, this flap out of here. There we go. You know, it just, it binds up just a little bit. If you've ever had like a really overbuilt backpack, you know what I'm talking about. As zippers go around corners and they start to catch, you know, this, the, the interior seam and then the, the kind of the storm flap there on the outside, it can bind up a little bit. Uh, but in this back pocket, it is set up almost exactly the same as the runner's kit bag. So you still have that padding, uh, but you additionally have this row of Velcro here, which makes it a little bit more conducive, in my opinion, to actually carrying a pistol back there. Uh, you still have a tie down loop at the bottom, but if you wanted to try to get a real holster in there, I think the Velcro would start getting you down that path. Depending on how much retention you have on your holster, it might not be of enough Velcro, uh, but you have the, the ability to, to do that, right? Uh, so that's the interior of the bag. Exterior of the bag, uh, you have the little wings coming off the sides, and then your waist belt ties into that. It does have the, the, the Velcro interior like you would have on a first spear vest or plate carrier. 
I don't necessarily know if there's an, any intended use there or if that's just the material that First Fear wanted to use when they made these. Uh, but it's there if you want to try to use it for something. I do like the little wings though. They just, they help, you know, kind of keep everything a little bit more stable. Instead of having a two inch tie-in with, you know, a buckle or a one and a half inch tie-in with, in this case, with a, with a kind of loose fitting D-ring, you have a two and a half inch wing coming off that's going to help keep things from, from tipping on you. And then you got a nice, nice bit of adjustment in here uh, and, you know, your webbing keeper and then your, your tri-glide there so you can take the slack out of your your waist belt and it will likely hold uh due to the hardware that they're using so that's the hill people gear uh fanny pack and hill people gear uh runners kit bag i did just look up the pricing this one's 91 dollars, and this one is 122 uh so they're definitely up there in the pricing uh but you do get a lot for your money uh, when it comes to these products i think 122 dollars for this is is a very reasonable price for that good of a size of fanny pack. So I really appreciate your team, your time guys. Uh, thanks again to the gentleman that sent me these. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys have a great night.